guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on the zvh fiesta turbo in today's video we're going to tackle a few jobs and uh, i've got a new toy to show you let me turn you around we've got a little ramp i've been looking for one of these for ages uh, and this one man this one come up local to me uh, and i managed to get it for a good price and i thought yep yeah, crack on we'll have that straight away so uh, we spent most of the morning with trucks and flatbeds and getting this delivered. It weighs, well, well I say it weighs a ton, but it, yeah, it's bloody heavy. <laughs> uh, it's a three ton. I've got to put a bit of grease down on the little rollers there. It's not actually that old. Um, it come from a local garage and we know the people that own the garage. It's just had a, a new two post to put in. He used to use this for doing tires and stuff. But well handy for me, I'm doing polishing, painting, what have you. It's just going to help out in general. Um, so yeah, excellent. I'm going to save me a lot of travel. Uh, we was talking about the paint, and I know loads of you were making comments uh, on the last video about what we're going to do with this, and loads of you are going to say, oh, you know, respray the whole lot and everything. Uh, it's all down to my mate and what he wants to spend on the car and do with it. Um, but... He's decided he's going to scrap it. He's had enough. So if anyone wants parts, it's, uh, it's all going up for sale. Only joking. Um, no, he wouldn't do that. He's just spent a small fortune on the car. So everyone's got numbers and figures in their head of what they want to spend. And, you know, he's just bought this car for a lot of money, to be honest. Uh, and until he dragged it in here and I pointed everything out, he didn't realise it, it was 50 shades of white. And obviously he didn't want to spend a fortune. And I'm not cheap, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, I've still gotta feed my kids, and I don't work for free. And I don't work for hardly anyone, to be honest, so it's very lucky. Um, but what we've done is we've worked out a little bit of a, a deal, and I said to him, listen, let's just, the roof's good, the bumpers are good, the boot visually looks good, but it is actually full of micro blisters. Let me try and show you, see more. Uh, you can see the boot. It looks like I've got a lovely tarmac finish going on in there. Uh, and it's going to be hard for me to show. Oh, hold on. Let me grab my torch. We'll get to the colour chips in a minute. But I might be able to show you. You might pick up on the camera or it might not. Uh, there we go. So if you... How can I show? There we go. So, if you, when I'm moving the camera along, you can see all these dots appearing. Uh, it is, excuse me, it is hard to show you this. It's, if you follow the torch around, you should be able to see loads and loads of these dots. See them? So, all of this on the boot uh, are all micro blisters. Oh, here we go. I can use the light off the ceiling there we go so the boot is full of micro blisters let's um let's start around this side so rear quarter creamy bright white so we've got cream bright white the door is all bright white which is good uh but the door also has uh, is it going to show lots of silicones and stuff like that in the door? Uh, wing is creamy, skirt is bright white, skirt is bright white, but has loads of bits in it. It's not going to show on there. And the same again here. Quarter is creamy. And round this side, we got creamy, bright white. Creamy, bright white. Same again on the door, creamy, bright white. And then the same again on the wing. Uh, the bonnet is actually good, it's in good order, but this does have uh, marks, silicones, and bits and bobs. So, what, what's actually gonna happen now is we're gonna paint that side, driver's side, bonnet, and boot. The bumpers are fine, don't need doing. They're in good nick, good condition, good colour. Uh, obviously, the skirt kit, both sides is going to get painted as well. And uh, 
we're going to try and make it look nice. And one problem I've come across is I've got my um, paint chips out, frozen white. Now, I can't hold the camera and the torch and everything, but every one of my frozen white chips don't match. So, what I do oops. now is I've got some different variants of frozen white in there. I'm gonna do some spray out cards and then we'll go from there and try and, um, try and get that matched up. If not, I'm gonna get it um, on the spectrometer camera and have the color red. Uh, I'm not bothered about the color red on the car. I'm gonna have the color red on the bumpers and the roof and we'll go to that. Um, but I've got a feeling I've got this color already and I'll check that with spray out cards and then we'll get it put on the uh, spectrometer thing, the color matching machine basically. Uh, and then we can get that color sorted. Uh, today, the video, uh, we haven't got loads to do, but I've been running around getting ramps sorted and what have you. But what we are gonna do, quite a few of you have asked, the um, trims, we're gonna remove them. I'm not gonna do it on time lapse. I'm gonna do it live. I'm gonna try and do it, um, trying to show you. A few of you have asked about how to do that. So we're gonna do that with a bit of fishing wire or welding wire. We're gonna, we've got both to try. So we're gonna try and show you how to remove these. So I'll turn you around in a minute. We'll crack on with that and I'll show you. All right, here we go, guys. So with these sort of trims and any other sort of trims, we've just got an old spool of fishing wire that he borrowed quickly. Um, do you want to show him, Dave? I'll throw it up. So, Hook it round the back and you pull away from the car and in a little sawing type motion, I don't know if you see there, it go through, go on, I'll hold it. It'll go through the rubber, there we go. And what it's just done is it's cut the sticky sponge off and you haven't had to bend this or prise this and deform the shape of it. So we're gonna go again and try it on there. So it's just hooking it in the end and he's pulling the two bits of fishing line like away from the car, if that makes sense. Let me swap sides with him so you can see. So he's in like a sawing type motion and I'm cutting through the sticky. And don't worry if your fishing wire breaks because it will do, it's quite normal. Right, got that Dave? There we go. So we want to keep that nice and flat. So we haven't distorted or deformed the trim whatsoever and it's only gone through the sticky. So let's get this one done. And this works the same with badges and things like that. I'll just hold that there so it don't uh, ping off. There we go, it's through the other end and that should just fold off now. So it, should we do the other side? Do the full badge, yeah, if you want to sham the full badge. The same thing applies with the full badge. Hold it around there so it don't fall off. I hope you can all see that. That's it. One full badge removed. And then same thing will be on here. And the last thing you want to do is mess these trims up. How much are these now? About 600 quid, you say? 400, 600 quid, ridiculous money for these trims now on the Fiesta Turbos. So you want to preserve whatever you can preserve. And I said to him, there's no way I'm wrecking them. <laughs> As you can well imagine. But it's whizzing through them, no dramas. This one looks like it's nearly ready. That's it. And that's peeled. So you can see how, look at that, just bending and flexing around. So we need to store them as flat as possible. The best bit of advice I can give you. Let's see, made a start on that one. And that one's off. There we go, job, job. It's coming off at all. That's it, job done. Put that on there. And you'll find somewhere nice and flat for them to go. Um, I know a few of you were saying that in the comments, come and show that live, so give you half an idea of how to remove them quick, efficiently, and without damaging them. The most important thing is to store them. I mean, um, if you look there, 
Well, let me turn you around. It's easy. See that's resting up on that colour chip. If you left it like that, it'd deform. So we're going to go and put them somewhere nice and flat so they won't get ruined. It's back on the ground now. The windscreen man's booked. I'm having the rear screen removed and the front screen removed. Uh, and you can't get hold of heated screens. This is a heated screen. I am not going to muck around with that. I'm going to, for the sake of giving my windscreen man a drink, I'm going to pay him to remove that so we can keep the original heated screen in good condition without any problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the boot open, remove the inner trim, get the lock out, get the wiper on and wiper motor off. And then inside the door, we're going to remove the pillars and the pods down there, front pillars there, to make it easier for him when the windscreen man comes. We'll remove the um, wipers as well. Uh, we're painting the scuttle as well, by the way, because that's creamy and that's bright. So, uh, yeah, we're going to strip all that out. The motors might leave in, but remove all the gubbins and tape it up because these are notorious for being a pain to get out. Uh, I don't, it doesn't bother me if they're in or out because once all the bits removed, it'll just be a hole there that we can mask up. So, that ain't a problem. So, I'll put you on time lapse and we'll start stripping some bits down. We stripped all the bits off of the boot. Obviously, we've got to remove the sticker stuff and we're going to leave the screen to the screen man. Yes, I know we could do it easy, but I'm not interested. Don't want to run the risk. Uh, all of the pillars are took off there and here. Uh, as you can see, I put the oil pressure gauge back in because uh, it's connected to oil. If you start the car or move the car, it'll pump oil out everywhere. So uh, now we're going to start stripping the door cards down and the doors, locks, windows and everything out of the way so we can get that all sorted. So let's crack on with that. There we have it, boot stripped down, other than the glass, 
Um, door stripped down. That door stripped down. Handles out, locks out. Bonnet stripped down, vents out, jets out. We took the wipers off. Um, these are a pain to remove from inside, but in all honesty, I might move them in such a manner where I can mask them. We've got a mask all underneath the scuttle anyway. Screen will be out tomorrow. We'll get the skirt kit off this side tomorrow and the arch liners. Uh, that can come out. Then we can start removing all the glues. We've took the roof trims off there so we can clean inside here and then we can get a proper finish when we come up to there. Um, the next worrying thing is I need to try and put that right somehow along this spoiler, this ropey all the way across. Uh, gonna have to drill the rivets out and remove and sort that as well. Uh, we'll get the quarter glass out in the morning. Uh, like I said today, I was running around after day sorting Rem out, picking all this up. We're sort of out of time now. It's uh, home time, but yeah, that's the progress today. Don't seem like we've done much, to be fair, but we uh, we did crack through that a little bit. I did rip the uh, side repeater out. Once we remove splash guard, we drop it down. Other headlight indicators out now. So yeah, we're getting there. The screen guys will let them do their job. We'll pull the portal glass out ourselves and job jobbed. There we have it guys. Not much of a long one today, but we've got, you know, we've got some bits done considering. So uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll crack on. We'll get some more progress made and uh, we'll start getting this looking all right again. If, uh, if you like the videos and you ain't already subscribed, hit that button. I know loads of you watch us without subscribing. And if you are subscribed, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Stay safe and be lucky.